did some demos involving Thanksgiving. I hope you have an awesome Thanksgiving. Enjoy the demos and leave your questions in the comments below. This is some cranberry juice. I'm gonna take some cranberry juice and fill up a cup. Now watch very closely. I'm gonna shift the cups around. Shift them around. I'm gonna take this and dump it. Shift around some more. And dump it again. Cranberry juice. Okay. Now I take the cranberry juice and there it is. Where'd it go? Happy Okay, demo number two for Thanksgiving. You can take a can of soda or sparkling water and shake it. Shake it hard. Shake it up. Okay, of course, pressure inside is building up. And we know that if you pull the trigger, it's going to go everywhere. You've probably seen that before. But what you can do is you can just take a few taps with your finger. One, two. Or you can take your fork and hit it. And that diffuses the pressure, pressure inside and restores it back to normal. And then when you go to open this up, you just get the normal reaction of nothing. That does not work with diet soda. Okay, demo three is called rising and falling. We take our sparkling water from the previous demo, pour it into a cup. Then we can take some raisins or craisins. I'm using craisins. Put them in here. Take some more, empty them in. And you're gonna see a periodic rising and falling of the craisins. Bring it around here. You can see how they rise and fall. And this will go on for a good 20 to 30 minutes. How they fill it on the top, then they sink, rising and falling. And you can use this to teach your students about density. This next demo is a classic. You simply dip your finger into a wine glass. Press your finger flat against the rim and press. Call this a singing wine glass. There it is. Classic. It's a forced vibration of the wine glass. Now, if I want to change the pitch, I can dump some of this out. Now there's less liquid in there and notice the change in pitch. Dump some more out, and again, higher pitch. Classic demo. This next demo is called the Volcano. It's a chemistry demo that involves acids and bases and color changes, and here we have a little bit of cranberry juice, which is... As you'll see, it's red. And I'm going to add some baking soda, which is the base, and we're going to see the color change that occurs. Add some baking soda. Mix it in. And this causes the solution to become dark purple. Dark purple. Here's uh, what we started with, and now it's dark purple. So it's now a base. Now, if I add some vinegar, okay, we can then turn this back to an acid. Here's some vinegar. Now watch, I'm gonna add a little bit. Mix it up. Now we can see the color is now turned back to Red, and if I had a little more vinegar, it would become even more red. Okay, now it's back to normal. Now, if I want to turn it back to dark purple, simply just add more baking soda, more base. 
mix it up. Wait for a few moments and we get that color change occurring. You can see that at the bottom it's getting again dark purple. Here's our original reference point. So now it's you can really see it's almost black. It's a base. And lastly, one more color change. I'll add some more vinegar. And we're looking for Okay, this next demo is called Float or Sink. Here we have an orange that has a peel and it has a mass of about 170 grams. Here we have a peeled orange, which has a much smaller mass of 115. Watch my submersion in water, heavy, lighter. Surprisingly to some, the heavier orange floats and the lighter peeled orange sinks. So this is a good lesson to teach kids about density. While we're at it, here we have some cranberries. And we'll see that when we put them in here, they float very high. Okay. Their density is much less than one. And if I take a cranberry and dissect it by cutting it open, you can see that inside, it's mostly air. Inside, it's mostly air, it's mostly hollow, and that makes its density much less than one, and it floats very high. So. Okay, this next demo is called the Magic Tablecloth Demo. And what I do is I have a tablecloth, which is actually a long sheet of paper, and I put some glassware on it, and I slowly, slowly drag it towards the edge. It's a great lesson on um, friction and inertia. Drag it to the edge, and then I quickly pull it and you'll see that it barely moves no force very little force was acting on the glass and again I'll do it one more time barely moves now if you want to kick it up a notch you can do this and add that okay now, okay, and now I'm going to slowly pull towards the side now you got to be quick Super quick, and there it is. The magic table. That is fun. Kids love that, and if your kids get nervous and have anxiety, they're, they're really gonna love that demo. You can load up a lot of uh, heavy glassware, just pull it super quick, and that'll work about 99% of the time. It's gonna show just how bad soda is for your health. Here I have a bottle of soda, Coke. Take this off. Take a little sip here. Okay, here we have some milk. Now what you do is you carefully, carefully just pour a little bit of milk down the side into the bottle. Just a little bit. You don't want to disrupt the soda too much. Now I'm going to put the lid back on. Okay, now just Carefully turn it just so it mixes. You don't want to disturb it too much. And then when you let it sit, what's going to happen over time is you're going to see the calcium get stripped off of the milk and kind of drops to the bottom and you get this sludge at the bottom. Here's one I did earlier in the day. And you'll see that pretty much water from, from and at the bottom, we had this, this sludge, which contains a lot of the calcium. So I teach the kids that when you drink too much soda over time, over many years, it can take the calcium from your bones and remove it and weaken your bones. So you want to really watch the soda intake because as you get older, you want to keep those bones strong um, by working out, by eating properly, by exercise. And you want to try to prevent your bones from getting weaker. So one, one of the ways is to limit your soda intake. So again, a really interesting demo. And if you want to gross the kids out, you can also take a sip of this milk and soda, which actually doesn't taste too bad. 